welcome to Retired Time Productions. I'm Dave. And I'm John. And today in this video we're going to be talking about what kind of computer you can use for Magic's Movie Edit Pro. I promised my viewers that I'll, I would show them what hardware I had and just what was inside the box on the computer that I'm using. Just got a new computer by the way. It's back here and we're going to talk about that next and John will be going over some of the specific hardware since he's so good at it. But generally what you need in your computer is you're going to need a fast processor. A ton of RAM. A ton of RAM, yeah. You're going to need a really high-end video card for the graphics because the GPU on the graphics card really does a lot of the work when you're doing yeah. movie editing. And there's a few other things you probably need too, like uh, hard drive space. Yeah, hard drive space, especially fast hard drives. And we prefer NVIDIA for the, uh, for the graphics card, by the way. Yeah. Welcome to Retired Time Productions. Magic's Movie Edit Pro only works on the PCs. It doesn't work on the Macs. So that's why we bought a PC, and that's why we populated with parts for a PC. And we're going to talk about that now. So here's John, and he's going to talk about the parts in the box. Let's take a look at what you get with the BB931 gaming computer from iBuyPower. So just to give you an idea how fast this gaming machine is, here I have five tracks of video all being previewed at the same time. And if I play it, right here you can see that the machine can easily handle playing all five videos and five tracks of audio at once. So we bought the iBuyPower from Best Buy because we thought it'd be way too much trouble to pick out the parts that we wanted and uh, still get and still get a good processor and all that and still be able to get what we want and uh, so we thought it'd be just too time consuming we wanted to get it done as fast as we could and so we bought one pre-built now that said we did do a few changes of our own we added one mainly we just added another hard drive in so one thing you might notice it does come with its own keyboard and mouse out of the box um, you might be able to get it without that but just to, just so you know and uh, it it has uh, four slots of up to 16 gigabytes each and they're right there and uh, we have uh, 16 gigabytes two of them with eight slots with 8 gigs, I mean. And uh, it also we got a 64-bit i7 7700K 7th Gen quad-core with hyper-threading. And it's a speed of 4.2 gigahertz with, five, with a 4.5 gigahertz max turbo. And that's underneath it. It also comes with a 240 gigabyte solid-state drive and a 1 terabyte hard drive. And that hard drive, by the way, is 7,200 RPM on the spindle speed. And, uh, and then we also added our own drive, which is a one terabyte as well. And I don't remember the speed on that one. So. Um, and they're actually on the back side of the computer. You can't see them. Yeah, they're on the back. There. You can't see them. Any well, except for the solid state, it's right there. <laughs> and... Uh, then for the motherboard, it's got a pretty good motherboard here, I'd say. It's a MSI Pro Series Z270, um, Z270 that is. Um, it's got 6 gigabit per second SATA interface. And I think we counted them and it was 6 of them in there. And uh, it's also got 5 USB 3.1 ports with 2 of them being in the front. And the rest are in the back. And then two USB 2.0 ports, and both of those are in the back. And there, here's the kicker, though. There is not any SD card reader, so you have to get your own. You have to get your own SD reader. This is a Insignia, I guess, uh, Insignia. I guess that's what it is, Insignia. And uh, but you can choose whatever you want, pretty much for that. But you have to get one of those. And this is, happens to be a USB 3.1, one, I believe. So it's pretty fast, and uh, and then next we're going to go on to the graphics card and all the graphics stuff. Uh, we have an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1080, and by the way, the 1080 is just the model number; it has nothing to do with the resolution. 
and it's an 8 gigabyte RAM in it and it's branded as MSI Armor. It has 4K support up to 60 Hertz which is 30 frames per second. Now you can probably get faster than that on lower resolutions. And uh, video parts it has one HDMI and that's an HDMI 2 port. And there's three display ports and one DDBI port. And now for the audio, it's got Realtek High Definition 7.1 surround sound with three assignable ports for the surround sound speakers. Now on to the interfacing for network. And we got built into the motherboard, we have an Ethernet, which is gigabit. And also on the little dongle connected to a USB bus, we have a Wi-Fi dongle inside the case. Now that may be a problem for some people who have a, their Wi-Fi router away from it. They may want to move that to the outside because the case may obstruct the signal. That's one thing to keep in mind. Um, and as for the expansion slots, there are two M.2 ports. And that's something new we haven't even heard of before until recently. So those are right there and right there. And there are special ports. They're, they're faster than SATA ports when it comes to solid state drives. You can get a solid state M.2 port drive and it's a, it'll run a lot faster. But also you can get other drives too like networking drives such as Bluetooth. I mean not drives, networking cards such as Bluetooth and things like that. And they also fit in there. So that's kind of interesting. And also there's five PCIe slots and one of them is just a little short thing right there and the rest are all the long ones. And the short one as you see is right next to that M.2. So that may have something to do with that too. We haven't did much onto that yet. And then there are also one standard PCI down here at the bottom. Okay and now on to the case. The case is actually kind of nice. It's got a nice style and uh, it is a gaming style case with two tempered glass sides. One of them is on the back here and uh, it's got RGB lighted interior with a remote. Well, if I can get it to turn on. There we go. Is it actually white? It looks kind of blue. <laughs> anyway, um, then we also have uh, well actually that's it for the case but we do have the liquid cooling that I mentioned before and uh, it's mounted part of the case as well and it's very quiet and it's got a lit fan on it too and it, it kind of looks like a radiator it's just kind of neat <laughs> um, and then it, for the operating system we're currently it currently comes with Windows 10 Home 64 bit that said, you might, if you have uh, the time to do it and all that, you might could upgrade it to uh, to like a, a better one, like Pro or something. But Home is good enough for Magic's Movie Edit Pro. Um, you can get by with it. So as for the lighting, it comes with this remote, like I said, and it has different color functions. It's got like different modes. You can do this flash mode here. You can do a strobe. I'm surprised that worked because it was aimed at the ceiling. <laughs> and you can do a fade just like that. And then you got the uh, smooth, which really doesn't look smooth, but it's what it's called. And uh, you can also adjust the brightness. You can pick white. You can uh, do yellow, different colors there, with the different buttons. You can just, you can like, say you pick red and you want to make it dimmer, you can do that. You can actually hold the dimmer buttons down and it'll go gradually down or gradually up, see. And uh, so that's kind of neat. And uh, it does work through the tempered glass panes. It still work. So the glass does not affect the remote function as much. It might uh, affect the range, but it still works. That's the main thing. And the sensor for The sensor is right there. Right there. My dad has also got a good keyboard from Best Buy as well. It's a Corsair keyboard. It's a gaming keyboard. Cool thing about this keyboard, you can actually change the colors and lights and we'll talk about that later in another video. So the price of this computer, and here it is. Drum roll please. Okay, it was $1,679. Wait a minute. Huh? 
And it did come with a keyboard and mouse, but as he said, John said, I did buy another keyboard, and I think that was another $200 for that uh, RGB keyboard. And another drive, too. And, of course, I already had another drive, but I put that in, too, so that was about 100 bucks. So you're talking about some money here, but it really makes Magic's Movie at Pro operate great. And the newer versions, like 2016 and 2017, are basically 64-bit. I don't think they even come in a 32-bit option. I know the previous versions did, so you have to have a 64-bit operating system like uh, Windows uh, X64, so that's what's on there. And gaming machines are a good way to go. I'm sure there's some other ones on the market. If you know any that you use or you've heard about, you could uh, mention that under the video. Okay, so thanks to John for giving that great explanation. He's so detailed on all of that technical stuff, and I really need him when it comes down to the serious technical advice. So thanks to John, and we'll see you all later.